Good evening and welcome to Hoops Friday Night. Alongside John Rawlings, I'm Jason Geyser and it's nice to be back after last week's total snow out. Let's begin tonight in the Three Rivers Athletic Conference. Lima Senior hasn't played a game in 13 days, but business is about to pick up for the Spartans. Starting tonight, they'll fire through five games in nine days. That's in the WBL, undefeated Elida hosting Wapkineta. Fun fact, since Doug Davis came over to Wapak, Elida's longtime coach, Denny Thompson, has yet to beat Coach Davis. First quarter, Wapak comes out firing. Aaron Good hits from the elbow. The junior dropping 20 tonight. Redskins still on the attack. Jace Copeland to Adam Scott. The three ball falls. Wapak jumps out to a 9-0. Run, but here comes Elida. Daniel Unruh driving right to the rack. The layup goes. Bulldogs down 11 to 4. Then it's Dante Johnson going to work in the post. After one, it's 11 to 6. Wapak and the Redskins hold on. Copeland to Brady Herb. Wapak hands Elida their first loss. Redskins on top 50 to 47. Now the only team left that's undefeated in the Western Buckeye League is Ottawa Glandorf. The Titans welcome Salina, who's fresh off their first win of the season. First quarter, Titans trailing, but Bryce Schrader changes that. The triple knots things up early on. Titans still on the attack. Owen Hegel is good from 15 feet out. Titans neck and neck with Salina, but then they start to pull away. Ethan White grabs the rebound, has an outlet, and Schrader, the lab gives OG their first lead of the game. 19 points for Schrader, and they continue to keep their foot on the gas. Carter Harringhouse with a slick pass to White. OG wins big, 97-63. to The Indians are, of Shawnee are on quite a streak. They have rattled off nine straight wins. Tonight, they travel to Van Wert. The Cougars looking to snap a four-game skid. First quarter, Sheridan O'Neal alone in the corner, and he drains it. Tribe up three. Shortly after, another Indian left alone. This time, it's Justin Banky for three. Shawnee's up four, and the Tribe's on fire early on. Ryler Asado steps into a three. Van Wert started slow, but got it going. They beat the zone, and Drew Bagley gets to the hoop. Van Wert snaps Shawnee's streak, 58-55. to Van Buren is undefeated in the BBC. Tonight, they step out of league play to face Lima Central Catholic. T-Bird's trying to bounce back after losing five straight. Third quarter, LCC working inside to Demontre Garner. T-Bird's out to a big 17-point lead. Van Buren still battling as Matt Illiff muscles his way in. Black Knight's inching closer, but LCC was too strong tonight. Especially Garner, the junior big man, taking the feed from Biggs Johnson and converting, and the six-foot, two-inch postman could not be stopped. He scores 21 points for the T-Birds. LCC wins 47 to 43. Thanks, ladies. As we begin in the Shelby County League, for the past six years, it has either been Rushi or Jackson Center taking home the conference crown. This year, in our Fort Loramie, the Redskins have yet to drop a game this season and are currently the number one team in the state in Division IV. Now, it has been a while since Loramie has won the SCL, 14 years to be exact. Tonight, they face Botkins to try and move to 13-0 on the season. Third quarter, Botkins trailing, but Josh Madden is still pulling from deep. However, the Trojans trail by 30. Fort Loramie staying on top, Eve Evan burning with a wide open lane. Redskins up by 35. The number one team in the state flexing their muscles and showing off their mullets too. Cody Barhorse dialing in. It's 67 to 29 and it didn't get much closer. Carter Mesher in the lane and taking some contact. Fort Loramie wins by 40. 77 to 37. The four-time defending conference champions of Rushi have lost only one league game this year to Loramie. Tonight they welcome Jackson Center who is on a three-game winning streak. Mid-first quarter, Jordan York releases the one-hander and gets it to drop. 8 to 2 Rushi. Second quarter, Tigers finally start to click. Trent Platfoot knocks down the three. Tigers trailing by nine. Then in transition, Aiden Riker goes to the crazy sidestep, laying it in. Jackson center within seven, but Rushi wasn't phased. Jack DePoor hits Daniel Kearns for the bucket. Rushi wins a close one, 46 to 44. One more score to report from the Shelby County League. Anna wins big over Houston, 74 to 34. In the Northwest Central Conference, the three-time defending champions of Perry face USV. The Rams are riding a six-game winning streak and have yet to lose in conference play. Third quarter, Wayne Lowry using the glass to his advantage. USV leads 29 to 15. Perry not lying down just yet. Malik Cooper finds the lone senior on the team. Logan Dre dials in and makes it. Perry pulling within 12. Then Jamal Whiteside converts the quick floater in the lane. Only down nine, but USV holds on. Quinn Sanders finishing inside. He scores 20. USV wins 55 to 48. Paulding is our final NWC team without a loss in league play. They travel to the stage where the Jeff Cats are trying to snap a five-game losing streak. 
Jefferson's up big in the fourth, but Paulding still battling. Austin Howell padding the stats, but the Jeff Cats still lead by 16. Here, Isaac Baldwin weaves around two men for the layup, but the damage is done. Jefferson has it in hand and wins 54 to 41. One other game in the NWC tonight. Bluffton wins a low scoring battle over Spencerville, and it was low scoring, but it was also good. 29 to 27. That is how we wrap up another Hoops Friday night. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you to everyone here who helps us put this show on the air each and every week. Join me here tomorrow for plenty more from the high school hardwood, including Lima Senior's trip to undefeated OG. Should be a good one. Elida coming off their first loss, hosting LCC at the Fieldhouse, and number one versus number three in the Division IV girls' state polls as Minster hosts Ottaville. But until I see you then, have a great night.